Hey guys, and today uh, I was thinking I might do a realistic roleplay and try one for the first time because I have never done one before. So this will be fun and I am going to try it out. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Bye guys, and I'll see you in the realistic roleplay. I walked into the barn early in the morning and I was still really tired. I walked over to grab my horse, Rose, and patted her a little bit, and then went to grab her bridle from the tap room. Um, I had forgotten to take her braid out the night before, and it was still kind of messy, but that would just have to do for right now. Um, we had just gotten back from the show the day before, and I had been looking for a friend for her for a while, and so I went in and grabbed her halter, and walked back out and made sure to shut the door behind me and then I walked to her stall and put on the halter. She is a very spooky mare but she's very young and great at jumping. Um, she likes big crowds and she's just kind of like a show off. Anyways, I put on her halter and I took her out to tap her off. I was getting Rose tacked up and ready to go because we were going shopping. Uh, I had already grabbed her tag and done everything that I needed, so right now was just needing to put it on and all of that. And so I quickly slid on her tag and then I walked over and grabbed her reins so that she wouldn't go. And I quickly put yeah. on her bridle because she will escape. And so then I grabbed her lead and I left and went to open the barn door. I would be going to the stables and Dundle and Dundle and be testing out some horses that I needed to ride. So, yeah. I first rushed her and I was just getting ready to put on all of her tack. And she was great with the saddle pad. And as I went to put on and tighten the girth, she kind of freaked out a little bit, which is okay. But um, we were going to head to the Denver Arena soon. And so I'm just looking kind of for a jump horse that will be good at doing jumping and going to shows and that is a comp horse. So I knew I would be riding her and so we put her in the trailer and I had already seen some videos of someone riding her so the owner wasn't too worried about me riding her considering that she was a little, she had a very little temper and didn't really spook. And so she, I knew she would probably be, a, probably be a good horse. I pulled her into a walk and she was very calm and she kept listening to the things around her. She wouldn't, and I finally tried to get her to focus and she finally did on what we were doing. Uh, her feet were sinking into the ground because it had rained the night before and it was really, really lucky. And so, yeah, I decided to try and get her into a trot. Her trot would have been really good for, like, dressage and all that. It was like, really slow and perfect for dressage. I tried to get into a canner, but she kind of stopped. And I finally got her into the canter, and we squared up, squared up the jump. She was very calm going over the jump, but her canter, canter was a little off. So if I bought her, we would need to work on that. But overall, she was a very calm horse and she would have been good for dressage, but I'm looking for a horse that hasn't done a lot of things and will be able, and I'll be able to train to learn those things. Anyways, but she was a five-year-old mare and she was really sweet and kind, but I decided to move on to another horse. This was the last horse I was to be trying out at the barn. So I got him into a truck walk and he was okay at it. He was kind of slow and like I said, it had just rained that 
morning and so I tried to get him and I pulled him into a trot which was kind of slow and it kind of felt awkward to me. Um, it was very short but and he wouldn't really lift his feet. But anyways, I pulled him into a canter that was squared at the jump. But as we got closer to the jump, he tossed his head and stopped right at the foot of it. I immediately knew that this horse wasn't going to be for me since it stopped. And I knew that it probably wouldn't go again. But we pulled him into the canter again. And I didn't really get him over the jump. He stopped again. And so I kind of just went back to the stables because I knew that this was not going to be the horse for me. Um, I just felt like that I couldn't train him and he kind of like spooked at everything. So I went and exited the paddock and I rode back to the stable and drove back to the stables on him. But I knew that he wasn't going to be the horse for me at all. So. The last horse I was to be riding was an English thoroughbred named Bean. He was a sweet gelding, and so I put on his halter and I walked him out. I gave him a pat before just to show him that I was nice and I wasn't going to do anything. And so I let him out and I attached him to the fence. He was really slow and he was really tall and he was 16 hands, so he was really tall and I wasn't used to tall horses, but I was still gonna try him out and ride him and make sure that he was a good horse. And out of those three horses, I would be picking one. I anyways tied him up and I patted him and I grabbed his saddle pad and saddle and I tacked him up. He was okay with the saddle pad, but as I put it on, he, as I put on the saddle, he kind of tossed his head. But anyways, I put it on his halter, and he was being a good boy with that. He took the bait really quickly, and yeah, and so I led him to the trailer, and his ears were very twitchy, as he was really twitchy today, um, which I thought was unusual a little bit, just considering that... He's, they said that he was a calm horse and was usually very twitchy, but I put that out of my mind as I led him to the trailer, knowing that he could spook at the trailer too, and I just wanted a horse that would kn knew how to jump over some jumps, but I would be able to teach to jump over some jumps. Anyways, I loaded him into the trailer, and he kind of stopped at the trailer, but and he went in anyways with a few pokes of some trees. Um, and then I walked out of the trailer and shut the door behind him. He kind of jumped at the sound of the trailer door shutting because I heard him inside. But anyways, he stopped after a while and I was able to get to the car safely and knowing that he wasn't going to get out. And so I went into the car and we drove away to the riding arena. I opened the back of the trailer and he had somehow switched himself around. I gave him a pat for being a good boy in the trailer and then I turned around and let him out. He stomped off the trailer and threw his head a little bit, but he was a good boy getting off the trailer overall. I led him to posts to tap him up. And the ground was also a little bit muddy, and it had just rained that morning, as I said. Um, we had had a bunch of storms coming through, but overall the ground was okay, and I knew that the ground jumping in there was going to be fine. But I put, tied him up to the post, and I got on him. I untied him and then walked into the arena and he had closed the door to the arena behind me just because I knew that I would need to do that and in case he spooked and tried to run out but I was able to get him into the arena quickly and 
then I started to ride him around and I walked him. His walk was very long, his walk stride was very long, and I knew he might try to look at some of the jumps, and that would make him slow down. But he was good overall, and he was ready to get into the trot, so I pulled him into the trot. His trot was very perky. He was very puffed up when I trotted him. But I went over to a cross rail, and I went to jump that. He looked at it a little bit, but he didn't really stop and spook. I felt like maybe I would be able to... I felt like maybe I would be able to make him go over this one up here. He kind of spooked after the jump, but I pulled him back down to the counter, and I went and up to this jump, and he went over it quickly, but he immediately spooked and went to the other jumps, which wasn't what I was looking for, but we could work on that. I went and talked to the owner, and she was watching me from here, but I went to go and talk to the owner, and she said that I could buy him since this was one of the horses that was the better one, so I handed over the money, and I took him home. I put him in a stall next to Rose, and he seemed very happy to be here, and very calm. He walked quickly, he walked quickly over, and I put him in his stall careful to make sure that he would get stuck and he did. Um, and so I grabbed his lead rope again and I tried to lead him in a different way. He still got stuck and wouldn't come in. So I decided to turn him around and try and go back in again. He, I don't know what was happening, he just didn't want to go in the stall. But I eventually got him into the stall and he and he didn't spook at all when I got him in. He and Rose seemed to really like each other. So I then walked out of the stall and closed his stall door and made sure to. And then that was the next horse I bought. I really don't know how I felt about that realistic role play. Please tell me in the comments if I did good or bad because I would really love to know, so if I could improve, that's something that I would love to know. If I could improve or do something better, then I really want you guys to tell me that. But anyways, I'll see you in my next video, and I hope you enjoyed it.